it's Cosmic Ray here again. I want to show you a review now. What we're using are shapes, the molecules we have, okay? Carbon diamonds, four bonds for carbon, make it a nine bond. Hydrogens, little dots are less significant. Nitrogen, we should be getting bigger. So we got three bonds on nitrogen. The lone pair that's able to do some other things is an alien. Oxygen has two lone pairs, so then when you get to something like sulfur underneath it, up to six bonds, all goes back to the lone pairs. Phosphorus, five bonds, if it's not doing three, from that electron pair opening up. And then lastly, the halogens we can do as squares, because they're going to have one bond, and each electron pair is able to open up and do like a double bond on an oxygen. So if you can learn the HClO4, learn to draw that Lewis dot structure right there, you're home free. That's as big as it gets. Sulfates are the next ones. And the Schroeder diamond is the technique we're using. And again, this is in memory of the sea star. She died on June 6th. Best Siberian Husky. Ugh. Thanks a lot to Santa Barbara Animal Control Nazis and your local superior courts for writing tickets when your dog isn't even a member of the state. Couldn't get to the doctor and get his deposit in time. Dying from dying from neglect. It was not out of spite. She was well loved. The chemistry here. The first molecule we thought of doing today was going to be minoxidil. This is Rogaine. You've heard of Rogaine? know the story it was actually a high, high blood pressure and they found a side effect was that it made your hair grow so we got some nitrogen I have to use this fancy colored pencil here just to hone in a little bit here this is what we're drawing and they still don't know how it works as far as growing the hair the vasodilator dilator for the blood pressure, so let's keep being strange. So we got an N, right angle, right angle, and that's going to be a plus, I can see already. So that's when we take the red pencil, we write a plus, and let's see, the double bond we're going to make go this way. So we need green plus. That's a single bond now. This is where like our phosphate, we're going to be able to say it's a three-headed alien because of the three lone pairs of electrons. So let's go this way with it. With one real big because he's the minus. See that? This is what the top of this is going to look like. Whenever you have an oxygen with the minus, what it means is it's got its eighth electron on there with nothing bound to it. So let's color this in while we're here. This goes all the way green for the oxygen. The lone pairs, you can kind of do like little green hair because it's really negative, electronegative in 3D space on the end of that nitrogen. So the nitrogen is going to go single bound this way to a carbon. It's going to be in a ring. And this carbon is going to go down, double bound to an N. Now we connected them before, but it's better if you put some space in between it so that you can use highlighter for the double bond. Now what you're gonna get over here, see this is why we needed the alien on the nitrogen even. It's gonna be one bond this way alien mind meld to this. So we got a 
kind of learn what this is all about. That fourth bond of nitrogen. This is where you got to know your chemistry. So that's the double bound to the N. So what it's going to have is on each side of this, say, remember we were saying how we look for symmetry. So when you look here, so you got an N off the carbon next to the nitrogen, N off the carbon next to the nitrogen. So this is a pretty cool molecule here. Let's do the ends off that, I guess. So right angled end. And right angle end. Right that way. So they're in H2. So let's get those out of the way. Just draw your two H's on there. Nothing tricky like those other nitrogens, right? Now you can color those in if you want. You don't have to. Skip the alien on those because we want to focus in on this. We don't want to get too lost in the alien. This is the best of the alien world. I'll tell you what, we're going to draw them in just to show you that they're the regular ones. Just simple electron pair. But these guys, this one doing the extra bond on the carbon, so we got to get some yellow in there. Is the pencil worn out yet? So this is double bound. down that way, and might as well finish this ring off. So that goes single bond to carbon down here. Nitrogen goes to a single carbon here. And then these two get a double bond. So this would be kind of aromatic. See the way all the double bonds are going around on each other now? Now we go down to just this simple ring here. Nitrogen around all carbons. So nitrogen is just the right angle. Let's go this way. make a six-member carbon ring off it. No big deal. One diamond, one diamond, and diamond, and diamond. Trying to keep me in the middle. Six-member ring. I see one, two, three, four, five. So there's one more in between here. If we can go top to middle here. Okay, so what that does now, it gives us the whole atomic structure. Now, we haven't put in the protons yet, which will tell us if we got the electrons right, but all the atoms are in place now. And put your little alien in there for nitrogen. So, color in the nitrogens, I guess. These are done. Little kids can color this and then go say, look, Daddy, this is what's making your hair grow and probably keeping your blood pressure low. So plus in the end, big deal there. There's another end. See the way the colors really make this stand out. Okay, we should probably put the alien in there to let you know it's a nitrogen. So without the alien, it doesn't seem as pronounced. And here we got a nitrogen. Now, carbon. We can go through and find the important Schroeder diamonds and color those in. Look at a whole bunch of them here, man. Let's get our black pen. Go around the circle here. You see it's got four bonds all to prominent high electronegative elements. So a lot of symmetry to this molecule, right? If you got your oxygen right here, well this side has carbon with a nitrogen, carbon nitrogen. Down here the ring